In this video, I will show you how to fix a missing cellular option in iPhone settings. First step is to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the power button until the slide to power off appears. Slide it to power off your device. Once it's off, press and hold the power button again until the Apple logo appears to turn it back on. Next is to check and make sure that your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. To check if you have the latest version, go to your phone settings and click General and go to Software Update to check for any available updates and install them if necessary. As outdated iOS can sometimes cause issues with certain settings. Next is to reset network settings. Resetting your network settings can help resolve issues related to cellular connectivity. But please be advised that this will remove safe Wi-Fi networks and their password, so you will need to reconnect to Wi-Fi networks afterward. If you want to reset your network settings, then go to your phone settings and click on General, then tap on the Transfer or Reset iPhone, then click on the Reset option. Next is to make sure that your SIM card is inserted properly in the SIM tray and that it is compatible with your iPhone and your carrier's network. Try removing the SIM card, gently clean it, and reinsert it securely. If the cellular option is still missing after trying the previous steps, it is recommended to contact your cellular network provider as they can check if there are any account or network-related issue that may be causing the problem. If none of these steps fix the issue, then you can try restoring your iPhone to its factory setting. Please note that this will erase all data and settings on your device, so make sure to back up your important data beforehand. If you want to restore your iPhone, then go to your phone settings and click on General, then tap on the Transfer or Reset iPhone, then click on Erase All Content and Settings option to initiate the restore process. Just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the restore. If you don't want to troubleshoot on your own, then I highly suggest to reach out to Apple support or visit authorized Apple service provider for further assistance. Comment down below if you have any other questions and I will do my best to help you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more how-to videos.